Welcome back to Airborne Productions. If you couldn't tell already, racing is in our blood. Everything from cars, to go-karts, to street bikes, to flying high on motocross bikes. If it has wheels, odds are we will be racing it. Fortunately, we are blessed enough to be able to take our first gen Spec Miata to the track for a practice day every year. In this video, we are going to show how easy it is for anyone to get themselves out to the racetrack and enjoy a day full of the joy and exhilarating fun that comes with flying around a track. While this video is aimed towards cars, everything stated can be applied to motorcycle track days as well. The first step towards getting yourself on the track is finding a car. This could be a street car or it could be a dedicated track car. In our case, we have a spec Miata that isn't street legal. We only use it on the track, but if you do this route, you do need a trailer to get it there. If you're taking your street car, the nice thing about that is that you can drive to the track, drive around the track, and drive home in the same car. No trailer or anything needed. Just be careful though, because that is your ride home. And yes, I'm talking to you, Mustangs. Additionally, it is a good idea to have sport or racing tires, but it isn't absolutely necessary. If your car is a convertible, like our Miata, which just has a hard top on it, it needs a proper roll bar. This roll bar needs to pass the broomstick test, which means that if a straight object, such as a broomstick, were placed between the front and rear, your head with the helmet on needs to be underneath the height of that broomstick. Step two is finding a track and signing up for a track day. Odds are, no matter where you live, there's a track somewhere close. So go onto that track's website and check out their calendar of events. Some tracks host their own open track days, and all tracks will have organizations that host group track days. Find the organization that suits you best. We go to Thunder Hill in Northern California, and we race with NCRC, the Northern California Racing Club. Within each organization, they will have different run groups based on skill level. Find the run group that matches your skill level the most. More on that later. Car preparation. Before you head out, you're going to want to check and change your engine oil and filter, your gearbox and rear end oil, check your tires to make sure the tread is proper, check your brakes, make sure they aren't eaten up before you get out there. You might have to do some suspension adjustment. Probably not. General preparation. Before you head out, you're going to need a helmet and gloves. And depending on which group you run, they might make you wear a race suit. They might let you get away with just some long pants, maybe long sleeves. Make sure you check those rules before you go out there unprepared. You're also going to want to bring food and drinks as it'll be a long day, fuel for the car, some cash in case you need to buy anything, you never know. Spares if necessary. If you don't plan on breaking anything on your car, I guess you don't need to bring any spares, but just something to think about. It doesn't hurt to have a spare tire. A trailer and a truck to tow that trailer if necessary. If you have a dedicated track car, you absolutely need this to get that car there. Bring an air compressor and a pressure gauge so you can adjust your tire pressures throughout the day. A jack and jack stands in case you need to get underneath the car. Wrenches, anything like that. Remember, you might need to change your tires or at the very least rotate them to make sure you're prepared to do so. I'm currently with my dad right now. We're on the way to the track. It's about six o'clock. We've been up since about four. For some of you guys, that might be the hardest part of this whole entire track day is waking up that early. So we made it to the track. There's our trailer right in the back. We're gonna switch our run groups. That way we're not uh, running back to back. There'll be one group between when I drive and when my dad drives. So I got my situation taken care of. I got a new colored wristband. Um, there's three run groups today uh, for NCRC at Thunder Hill. They do an open, a point by, and a solo group. I usually drive open, so I do have experience with uh, SCCA racing, NASA racing. So they let me drive the open group and that's pretty much unrestricted. You can pass anywhere. Uh, point by, you can point anyone by to pass anywhere on track. And then solo is the lowest group. You can only point people by to pass on a few straights. So you can't pass in the middle of the corners or anything like that. You're going to want to arrive early in order to set up your area in your car. In this case, we're setting up a shade canopy because it gets pretty hot out here at Thunder Hill. It's usually above 100, but thankfully it was in the mid 90s today. Then you will attend your driver's meeting. They're calling our meeting out right now, so 
Let's get to the tower. The same, you know, what they understand, and we understand that a lot of the laps, you'll see the white at start finish here on the beginning of your last lap. Okay, quick and easy drivers meeting. Uh, you have to attend them here or to get your car sticker. So don't skip out on them. You'll want to get yourself mentally ready to drive the car. Remember, you'll be going pretty fast around that track. Maybe not to begin with, depending on your skill level, but it is very mentally taxing to do so. Okay, I just finished my first session as you can tell. Uh, my dad's doing a session right now, so we each have five sessions on the track. That's 20 minutes per session. That's a decent amount of laps. Here at Thunder Hill, we're running anywhere from 210s to 215s, so it's about eight or nine laps total, which is a pretty good drive. And no matter your skill level, my best advice for the first session, just don't blow it. Seriously, the first session, everything's cold. The track, your car's tires, your engine, tranny, rear end, everything, you, everything needs to heat up and slowly get faster. So that first session, put in some good laps that are nice and controlled, and throughout the day, you can slowly get faster and faster. But seriously, the worst thing is when you get on track and it's cold outside, everything's not warmed up and ready to go, and you slam on the brakes and you lock it up going in the corner or you loop the car and spin off the track your first session of the day. Don't want to end your day in the beginning. Right as I talked about not blowing at your first session, uh, the tow truck is out. First session of the day for this group. Keep your car on the track. You can race and go fast and set lap records as you progress, as everything heats up. Not the first session. Lastly, clean up and go home. Make sure to pack out all your trash, secure all loose ends. In our case, we tied down our car. We made sure everything inside is nice and tight. It's not gonna move around on our long haul. Lastly, drive safe. If you drove to the track, drove all day on the track at racing speed, and then now need to drive home, you will be exhausted. So make sure you pay attention if you're driving with somebody else, consider letting them drive home because odds are you are absolutely spent. It's not a bad idea to let somebody else more alert take the wheel. Alrighty, the track day is a wrap. So we each did five sessions. <laughs> yeah, we each did five sessions. And I did take my own advice of not blowing it in the first session. I waited till the very end of the day to do a little off-roading. And uh, unfortunately, uh, for this club, if you put your wheels off or you spin out or something like that, go way off track, lose control, uh, they black flag you for that session. And it was the last session of the day, so they told me my day was over at that point. But hey, that's okay. You know, if you're going faster on the track and trying to push your car and go faster and faster, as long as you're safe and careful, it's going to happen. You're going to dip a wheel or two or, or spin in the corner. You know, you just got to be careful. It's part of the risks of racing. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, Please subscribe for more content like this.